All right, so a few weeks ago, the Twitch streamer Amrith was dealing with a stalker. I'm sure people are aware of the story. Some guy moved from Estonia to Texas to try to be near her. He sold everything he had, and then he showed up outside her house, and I think he's trying to break in, and it was a story that everyone was covering. She was tweeting about it, and everyone's like, oh my God, this is terrible. I can't believe this is happening to her. I feel so bad for her. And now, just a few weeks later, we have Pokimane talking about how there's nothing wrong with simping, which is a great message to put out there right after some guy showed up at a streamer's house. Oh yeah, that's gonna help a lot. Like, how about if you don't want people obsessing over you and stalking you and trying to find you and meet you, don't act like simping is a good thing because that is only making it worse. I do feel like sometimes <laughs> I could talk about this shit forever. Isn't it weird that young boys are being told simping is so terrible if you are doting on a woman that is so terrible? But, but like, it's not. And you know what's crazy? You can simp for guys and girls. You can simp for your homies. But we've made it this like crazy sexist thing where it's like, oh my God, you're a guy who's doing anything nice towards a girl? Ha, huh, fucking loser. And we've made that a terrible thing. And what we don't realize is this reinforces so much like, like low key misogyny. Yeah, of course it reinforces misogyny. You knew she's gonna throw in something like that. Even though I think if you're simping for anybody, it's bad. It's not good to worship somebody who has no idea who you are. And it's not good to give them a ton of money and constantly beg for their attention. And of course, Pokimane is acting like she doesn't even know what a simp is. And she doesn't realize that there are crazy people out there that are obsessed with her. And obviously she knows that. She knows that there are a lot of creepy people that want to find her and meet her and be with her. But she's acting like she doesn't know what a simp is and she's downplaying what it is to be one. She's acting like just being supportive to a friend or girlfriend is simping. But when her fans, some of them who are real crazy, obsessed with her, want to be with her, will do literally whatever to be with her. When they hear this, Obviously, they're like, oh my God, she's talking to me. She's saying I'm doing a good thing by giving her all my money and worshiping her, and maybe I'll be with her one day. Like, this is only gonna make things worse when it comes to stalkers and crazy people. And she's gotta be aware of this. There's no way she's that stupid. I mean, if anybody is obsessed with like a celebrity, like an actor, a musician, and they just worship them all day, they have like shrines of them, they're trying to get their attention, they're sending them letters, they're sending them money, that's not good. Like, that's pretty obvious. You shouldn't be doing that. And to encourage that is insane. And it's dangerous. But do you think any person that covered the whole Amra story with her stalker, do you think any of those people will call Pokemon out for saying this? No way. Because they don't actually care, and they are scared to be called sexist by her. And it's just so funny that she's saying this right after this whole stalking situation, and she's even dealt with a stalker. Like, why are you encouraging this behavior? Like, there are other fans of yours out there that have this stalker mentality, and they think that they know you, and you're talking to them all the time, and they just want to be with you, they'll do whatever, like I said. Then you defend simping and say there's nothing wrong with it. Obviously, those people are going to think you're talking to them, and they're going to be like, oh, wow, what I'm doing is completely fine. When you could just be like, listen, simping goes way too far. There are people that are way too obsessed with me. If you think you know me, if you think you're my friend, you're not. Like, you should just be telling them to go live their lives. Stop donating all this money to me and trying to get my attention. And the fact that she doesn't say stuff like this shows she has no respect for her fans. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Like, she knows that people are trying to get her attention all day long. They'll donate whatever they can. They'll do whatever they can. And she still will defend them and be like, oh, simping is fine. You're doing the right thing. Thing. Like, no, these people need help. And I only mean the people that take it too far and donate money that they don't have or, like, are just wildly obsessed and worship her. Obviously, there are people that, like, just casually watch her that are fine. And maybe if you're giving her, like, money for a membership on Twitch, I don't know how that works. Like, if you're giving her, like, five bucks a month. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't do it, but I wouldn't give any Twitch streamer money. And if you're doing that kind of stuff, I guess there's nothing really wrong with it. I mean, I think just watching Twitch streamers in general is terrible, but it's not the worst thing as long as you just periodically watch them, you know, because these people, some of them stream like 10 hours a day. So you could technically be watching them half of your day, basically. Like that's insane. And some people probably do that. And then they donate money that they don't have and they just, they're obsessed way too much. Obviously, there's a big problem there. Like, let's just check out some of Pokimane's fans responding to her tweets. 
I just like went and found this. It's only from a few days ago or six days ago. She said, you're doing great. Keep it up. Proud of you. Which, I mean, I guess I don't have that much of a problem with her saying that, but it's still like she's talking to somebody. It's like, you're doing a good job, like these fans of hers. And I know everyone does that on Twitter. It's not that big of a deal, but she definitely encourages this parasocial relationship, like no doubt about it. And then somebody responds, they say, nope, I'm doing bad. Always keeping it low. You're not proud of me because you don't know I even exist. And that 34 likes. And now, what do you think the best thing would be for this person to do? Should they keep watching Pokimane? Should she go on her stream and say, simping is cool, you guys are awesome? Or should she say, hey, if you guys want my attention and you're like always trying to get in contact with me and you're obsessed with me that much, like take a break. Like that, that would be what's best for this person. Like if they just stopped watching her for a while, it's not that important. Go out and meet a real girl. Obviously, this person isn't doing very well. And Pokimane giving them the satisfaction by saying, simping is cool, there's nothing wrong with that. That obviously makes them feel better. And they're like, oh, Pokimane, she does like me. She kind of notices me by saying that. And it'll keep them around. Like, no, they need to be cut off. Like, this is not good. And here's another one. Pokimane tweeted, you like my hair? G thanks, just bought it. And someone commented, how much was it? I want to donate the exact amount so I feel like I bought it for you. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. And Pokimane would probably say that's awesome, even though obviously it's creepy and she knows that, but all she cares about is making money, getting attention, having people obsessed with her. Like the guy in this tweet wants to believe that he paid for this girl's hair, who has no idea who he is, and he has no chance of ever being with her. Now, how is that a good thing? How is that productive? How does that help at all? Like, if you actually had a girlfriend and you paid for her hair, then that's cool. Obviously, that's a good thing. You know, it's good to treat your girlfriend to stuff like that. She'll be happy. I'm not going to call somebody a simp for that. But if you're paying for some random girl on the internet who you never met, you never actually talked to, she doesn't know who you are, you'll never be with her. If you're paying for her hair, that's a problem. And then people are surprised when a stalker shows up at her house. Obviously, that sucks. I wish it wouldn't happen. She doesn't deserve that. But... I mean, this is the kind of stuff that's going to happen. And if she's encouraging it by saying simping is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, then, I mean, what am I supposed to make of that? When she says there's nothing wrong with simping, she knows what she's doing. She knows that's not good, but she doesn't care. And I'd be saying the same thing even if any other streamer said this. Like if Miskiff said, oh, there's nothing wrong with simps, there's no problem with that, then I'd be saying the same thing. I'd be like, dude, that is dangerous. Like, why are you saying that? You know that's stupid. Because I'm sure every major streamer has had to deal with stuff like this. People that worship them and are just obsessed with them and donate money to get their attention. Like, I think Ludwig made a video a year or two ago called, like, I'm not your friend. And he had to tell people that he doesn't know them. He's just entertainment for them. He'll never be their friend. So he'll do that. And then Pokimane, she does, like, the exact opposite. She just encourages it all. Like, right before the video I played earlier at Pokimane, she's typing out some message to, I think... I'm not totally sure what's going on here, but I think it's somebody that was banned from her chat and they want to get unbanned and they're banned because they're making fun of the simps in her chat and now she's responding to them. I want you to know that's really weird and low key because why do you even care if someone were? Hypothetically simping. Huh? You're sad they love someone that ain't you and that it's and that's that it's a woman? Literally, what does that have to do with you? You know, if your parents are together, your dad probably simps for your mom. And so what? That's a normal part of loving other people human beings maybe you don't know anything about that in which case sorry hope you learn someday but still don't ruin it for others or be oh fuck <laughs> this is insane how is this making simping sound any better she's like oh my god you must not realize that your dad simps for your mom yeah they're married if you're treating some random girl on the internet like your wife that is concerning that is not good this is so cringy she's saying simping is a normal part of a loving relationship i guess she's right if the person you're with simps for you in return but usually simping is when you worship somebody and you get nothing in return and they don't even know who you are or they barely know who you are so the fact that pokimane goes out of her way to talk about how simping is fine and it's a good thing 
especially right after this girl had to deal with a stalker. It just shows how out of touch she is. Even though she has to know that this isn't good, this isn't going to help, it's only going to make things worse. But I think she just doesn't care because she also has a massive ego. And it also shows that she just has no respect for her fans. And I feel like this is just irresponsible. And if anybody had any backbone, they would call her out. Like Philip DeFranco or somebody like that. When they covered Amrith and they talked about how crazy it is that this stalker is going after her. It's a couple weeks later and Pokimane is defending simping and talking about how it's completely normal. If you had any, if like you actually cared about this, wouldn't you be like, hey, Pokemon shouldn't be saying this because it's only encouraging this kind of stalker behavior. But I'm sure he'd be scared too, because of course, if you criticize Pokemon, then you're a misogynist or sexist or whatever. And I'm sure people will say that in this video, even though 99% of my channel is me making fun of men. And also, if Pokemon took my advice and stopped talking about how it's good to simp and stopped giving the simp so much attention, then it would probably help her. She wouldn't have to deal with as many crazy people. I mean, obviously crazy people will always be there, but this, I guarantee it's only make things worse. All right, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.